Together, we can raise our voices and demand justice for those who have been silenced. Demanding change. No longer does this group want to see disabled people of color killed by police. By fighting for a future where every individual is valued, respected. On March 9th, San Bernardino Sheriff deputies shot and killed 15-year-old Ryan Gaynor. He had been acting out that afternoon and a family member called 911. Ryan was autistic. Body camera video shows Ryan charging at a deputy carrying a gardening hoe. Those deputies began shooting. In Oakland Sunday, activists held a vigil for him and other victims of police violence. They want one thing, police to stop responding to a mental health crisis. We're calling for us to uh, decriminalize mental health care, right? We're calling, we're calling for us to decriminalize autism, right? Uh, um, because people are neurodivergent, it's not a death sentence. Ryan's family now have an attorney and will possibly sue the county. Guess who had to tell my sister that her baby was dead? I did. His case especially hits home for Tom Hall. Walnut Creek police killed her son Miles in 2019 while he was experiencing a mental health issue. Well, you know, it's very similar to Miles. Miles had a garden tool. Miles thought he was, this, you know, um, he had the staff from God. You know, he was in a mental health emergency. So was Ryan. Ryan was autistic. You know, all he needed was help. She is calling for the need of trained mental health professionals who can respond to these calls. She believes her son and Ryan should still be alive. When something is a medical condition, which is autism and mental health, we shouldn't rely on police to come and be the first responders. A new police chief is ready to take over the city of Oakland. Those at Lake Merritt Sunday want this chief to understand the differences in catching criminals and responding to mental health emergencies. Anyone coming into Oakland, you know, interested in public safety, what they need to know is how we keep us safe here in the city, right, and how we invest in programs that are affirmative, that are life-giving, right, that treat people with respect and dignity. In Oakland, Ryan Curry, ABC7 News.